are ready to roll. Here we go. All full up. Woo! All right. Hopefully, we'll make it home before dark. Don't bet on How you feel? Tired. <laughs> okay, home, James. Shut your door, please. Okay. Okay, everybody. Here we are, and I'm going to show you the first thing that we bought. Look at this magazine. I've never seen it before. I haven't looked at it yet, but I can't wait to look for it. It is over at Walmart. On to everything else. Okay, we're going to start right here. We got some tall kitchen bags. Got to have lots of kitchen bags. Every single time I go, at least for the last six months or so, I have bought lots of garbage bags. We got super blessed. And look, Remember I was telling you when I was doing my dehydrating videos about these little baby mason spice jars? I found some of these and some lids and three cases of jars. So awesome. Right here, this is some Plasti Dip. Amy, I think, is going to use this on some of her uh, tool handles or something. I have six cans of evap evaporated milk. And look what I found. I found this Augustine Farms 48-hour emergency supply of food for four people. So if it's 48 hours for four people, that'll last me and Amy four days instead of two. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll open that up and maybe make a video about that. Okay, moving right along. Over here, you'll see I've got limes and lemons, and I'm actually dehydrating these. Yes, everybody, Ashley is still dehydrating see here's some of the citrus I've done lately the tomatoes as well and what I've been doing is I usually get about two bags this size but they were running low so I didn't want to be piggish and take everything but see how beautiful they come out when you dehydrate them beautiful so that's what I'm doing with those these are sweet potatoes I'm not going to eat them. I'm going to put them in a, a paper bag and put them under the cabinet and come back to them and hopefully we'll get some eyes and we can plant them. These are just my onions for the house right now. As you know, we make our own laundry soap, so every time I see this stuff, we pick up a box of this, a couple of these, and we keep that going as well. Always are going to need aluminum foil. Lighters. If there's one thing we know, we never know at this point when we may need to light a fire. So we need fire implements. We always buy them. We have tons. This right here, this is what you call a off-grid dehumidifier. <laughs> These things work great. They take the moisture out of the air, and we always pick up a couple of those as well. You saw the beginning of the video, and I did get some of those wipes. Some of this dry scalp. This is a big, big pump bottle of shampoo. This is kerosene for our lanterns. Bleach. Tarp, because as you know, you never know when you're going to need a tarp. So we picked up some of those. Toothpaste. Three boxes of tissue. Every time I go, I get three boxes of tissue. We've got some paper bowls, some paper plates. Um, we're living without water right now. Usually I would not use these things, but when you don't have water and you're hauling in your own water, uh, yeah, you want to make as few dishes as possible. This works for us right now. Moving over here, we got a couple cereals. This is Amy's favorite, Fruit Loops with Marshmallows, so she was excited. And look here, some board games. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know... You know, are we going to have TV? Are we going to have power? Are we going to have anything? So we bought some board games. Nice, nice, fun way to pass the time. We did each get a pair of these uh, long underwear that are so awesome. We love them. I got some really cutie pie little wool socks right here. Very nice. And some uh, slippers. And... Some tortillas, different varieties. We do have what we need to make these ourselves, but as long as we can still keep getting them, we're going to buy them. This is some kind of bit set that Amy must have needed. So, anyway, let's look at the floor here. I got two gallons of oil, this big old white vinegar. These are just some drinks. We didn't really have a large selection, so we just kind of got a little bit of everything here. I'm loving that I found that. Uh, powdered Gatorade. That That's something we're not going to drink right now. 
Um, the drinks and stuff, we're going to have those right. Th that's for us now. This other stuff is being packed away. Um, there's a little case of rolling rock there. Numma, numma, numma. Some dog food. 25-pound bag of sugar, which we did not find at Walmart. We had to go to a different store for that. Um, these are some apple ciders. Amy loves these, so we always pick up a couple of those. And the only reason I bought this is because this was the only selection, only size, only quantity of any type of hot cocoa Walmart had to offer. So I just had to say that that's, that's weird. So that's why I bought that. Just wanted to share. That's all they had. Every time I go, I like to get yeast. Lots of yeast. Pack that away. Probably going to be baking my own bread here soon. Let's move over here. I love these because even though some of the instructions say add half a cup of milk and one and a half cups of water and butter, you can use only water. If you didn't have access to fresh milk or butter, you can only use water. It's, it's basically like an MRE. You add hot water, let it sit, and it's good to go. So we always pick up these. I have a ton of these. The, the pasta variety as well as the, uh, the rice, the rice variety. Okay. Pardon this uh, cramped area here. You know I'm in a trailer, so I had to kind of put everything on my couch. Right here we have some proteins. What I love about this corned beef hash is the calorie content. This can has 640 calories in it, ready to go. That is really, really good food to have on hand, especially if, you know, times are, are hard and you don't have a way to get a lot of calories. This, this is good. We have a ton of this packed away. I also bought a bunch of cans of, this is... Uh, chicken breast, canned chicken breast. So that's what this is. This was just a little thing of potatoes. I had never tried their kind, so I'm going to try it. I have a ton of uh, flaky potatoes packed away as well. Every time I go, I pick up a couple packets of seasonings. This time it was taco seasoning and uh, brown gravy mix. And it just, if you just get a couple each time you go, they add up fast because I'm telling you right now, Flavor. Flavor is something that is going to make us happy if we don't have access to all the things we're used to having. Okay, we've got, I had never seen this, Hush Puppy Mix with onion flavors. So I, I bought a bunch of those as well as these Banana Nut. Um, I always pick up little instant bread mixes because they're very handy and easy and quick. Now, I got two different kinds of pickles, some water chestnuts, num num num. Always, every time I go, I buy one or two jars of peanut butter. So that was my one jar. And this was a big condiment haul because I got pretty much one of everything from teriyaki sauce, I got two ranches, an Italian dressing, um, Worcestershire sauce, mayonnaise, teriyaki, all of it. I got two jars of applesauce, four containers of salt. Now this is interesting because this four containers of salt is enough salt for one person for one year. Right there. People need about five pounds of salt a year. So right there, that would cover for one year for one person. See how easy that was? And these were like 55 cents. Here I got some uh, light corn syrup. This might come in handy down the road and it lasts forever. That's what I like about this. We got a bunch of pasta here. A uh, bunch of spaghetti types, angel hair. I got three pounds of macaroni. Now look, I got all these beans right here. These are one pound packages. These little beans, these little navy white beans, I'm probably gonna use these to make sprouts, to, to sprout and uh, some black beans, or bonzo beans, or chickpeas, whatever you want to call them. They were very low on rice, so I got two 10-pound bags of rice. It's, I think that's a 8-pound and a 2-pound bag of beans. I got 20 pounds of potatoes. I got these peanuts. These are just regular salted, and these are hot. I can't wait to try those. 
big old thing of Parmesan. And these two protein items, which I've never tried, so we, we actually have several of these. We're going to give these a go. Check them out. They were not very expensive. Got to have some goodies. Nom, 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 nom. More goodies. Nom, 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 nom. It's my dog down there, if you're wondering what that mess is. It's not a mess. It's her bed. Okay, back to the food. Up here, we have, okay, two cases of corn, two cases of green beans. That's a, a case of 24 cans of tomato sauce. That's an Augustine Farms butter powder, uh, powdered milk, a few cans of Hormel chili, a few cans of... Uh, that is chicken, cream of chicken soup and a couple things of ramen. That's not the brick ramen. It's the ones that come in the cup. So that's all they had. So that's what we got. Breakfast items over here. Some applesauce, cups of fruit. You can see here I got tons of different types of creamers, tons of different types of coffee. We got a couple instant coffees going on over here. Some pancake syrup. Big old thing of oats, two things at instant. Big old thing of pancakes here. Those are delicious. Couple little goodies, Doritos, barbecue chips. Those animal crackers are Amy's favorite. But the coffee thing, I just bought one of like everything so we can just have a variety. So let me back up so you can see it a little differently now. Because remember, we're in our trailer. So there's all that. Now I'm showing you all this because I am just hoping and praying that everyone that I know and love, not just that I know and love, just everyone is preparing. The shelves were running out of um, options. I don't understand why. But it's a fact, everybody. It's a fact, okay? All right. All right, everybody. What did you think of that haul? Pretty big. Pretty big. But not as big as it probably would have been a couple months ago because things are more expensive. Yeah. Less choices. Yeah. Um, kind of bare shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Amy. She's been working underneath the trailer all day. Tell, tell them what you've been doing putting insulation underneath our rig because we have zero insulation in this rig and it is cold when it snows and it's getting ready to snow again, again. so a lot of work it's just been non-stop work guys and i want to apologize that we went to several weeks without a video we had a lot happen in our life we had three deaths um all people who were very close to us amy's grandmother my little brother adam and uh Jeanette, my, my dearest, dearest friend in the world. So uh, we had that, our pets, we had two pets that had to go to the vet. It was just, it was just crazy. But now we're rolling, we're doing the deal. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And what else do we want to tell them? I want to talk about if, this prepping. Yeah, I do. if you're not prepping, if you're not prepared for what may come, please prepare. Because yeah. there's no sense in not. The, the worst that could happen is you have extra food. That's it. That's it. You have extra and then you don't go grocery shopping for a while. But I'm telling you right now, we've been through a lot of states. We've been to a lot of Walmarts and local grocery stores. And I'm telling you, uh, things are different. It's it's very, very different. So, so the only... When we went to the Walmart this time... Oh! 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 <laughs> Let the fridge. Oh, oh, it's falling oh, everywhere. Avalanche. By the way, we were in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. That's the Walmart that we went to. Yeah. And that's a small population. They have less than 3,000 people, I think, that live there. And it's touristy, but the Walmart is big and beautiful and usually really stocked. So. And they didn't have, for cookies, <laughs> cookies, the only cookies that you had, the... Keebler. No. No. Nabisco. Oh, Nabisco. Nabisco. And great value. value. Yeah. It That's was, it. it those, was, are the on, those were the only brands that you had to choose from. It was just very kind of shocking and weird. And even the employees. Uh, what, what did that one employee say that one day? Uh, 
he said, oh, it's going to be easy stocking now that the yeah. food trucks are so small. <laughs> he actually said that right in front of us. And we were like, oh, my gosh. So the employees are feeling it. We are feeling it. Um, and we hope that you will do something. Jump online. Go on Amazon. If you have money, if you can afford to do it, have it shipped to your house. August and Farms. Um, any kind of long-term survival type food it all can be doctored and and made right. better you can add you stuff can't to live it. without water and you can't live without food that's right so please prepare that's right. all right as always sorry about the dark picture i'll see if i can clear that up but um love your families be good to each other yeah to everyone just be good be good uh love to you all and god bless god bless peace we'll talk to you soon